Hey guys, welcome back to our second episode of Photoshop Halftone Effects Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to create all these two amazing photo effects design inside Photoshop. We're going to use the same tool which we have covered in our previous tutorial that is Filter Gallery Halftone Patterns. In the previous video, we have understood how we can use filter gallery halftone patterns. We have seen all the filters, effects, attributes, and everything. In this tutorial, also we're gonna use the same tool that is filter gallery halftone patterns, but we're gonna use two different techniques to create out each of the designs. So let me show you how we have created these two designs. For the first image, what I've done is I have directly applied all the effects to the image that is over here filter gallery and we have used multiple number of effects to it we have used reticulation grain halftone patterns and film grains to clear out this nice halftone effects very simple so for the second design we have created a fill layer and applied all the effects there then after that we have changed the blend mode to a hard mix and after that we have created this page tone effect using the clipping mask options so let's begin with our designing process so here is our first image as you can see we have created this very simple half tone effect so let's uh, open our image so once you have imported your image in photoshop first thing we're going to do is to change the image size so we'll go to image and go to image size and it's 2600 it's very huge so i'll reduce it to around 1500 pixel 1500 and 72 resolution and click ok so we got our image size set next we'll change this image to black and white so i'll go over here and change the image to black and white okay and after that i'll add a nice level and increase the contrast value i'll make sure the darker are very dark and i'll make the highlight increase the brightness to increase the highlight something like this and once you are done with this select everything and merge the images so right click and just go over here and merge layers and convert it to smart object right very simple like this now let's apply our halftone effects so for that we'll apply filter gallery so select the layer and go to filter and apply filter gallery and this will open this attribute over here we're going to create out this image so what i'll do is i'll delete all these effects what we have done over here so first we will apply reticulation so as you can see in this image we have this white color and the black color so while using reticulation, it's very important to decide which color you want on your foreground and which color you want on your back. So to get this effect, what we need is we want our white color on the foreground and black color on the black. I'll show you the difference now. Okay, so let's say this is the reticulation, right? Now if I remove this fill gallery, right? And keep the foreground black and the background white. And now if we apply filter gallery, and reticulation you get to affect something like this under reticulation if you can adjust it but it gives you a different effect now let's see what we can get when you change the foreground background color so let's keep the white and background black and i'll again go to filter and apply filter gallery and here we go you can see that we got this nice negative effect something like this so what we want in our design is we want our reticulation effect to look like this and to get that make sure your foreground color is white and background is black now let's do the settings here so this density will increase the uh, like noisiness in our image so i'll keep the density to zero or maybe one now we want to make sure that your foreground is around very low too and your background should be dark so if you keep it low it will be something like this we'll increase it to around 33 34 something like that this is our image and this is our reticulation effect next thing we're going to do is to add grains so add click over here to add a new effect layer and we'll find green so under texture you find greens add a nice green uh, we'll set the grain then intensity to around 20 percent right and the contrast to around 30 33 percent okay something like that you can increase the intensity but we'll keep it around 20 percent and contrast you can increase the contrast decrease the contrast but we'll keep it balanced 33 okay well now we'll add half tone so we'll click over here and select the half tone or something like that and so on the half tone uh, you can adjust the size and the contrast so we'll set the size around seven to eight something like that and if you adjust the contrast you see some 
effects here so if you give it a zero you'll find something like this and if you increase it to 150 you'll get that nice effect so what we want in our design is this so we'll keep the contrast to 50 that is full and we'll adjust the size so if you want the size to be smaller you can just reduce the size you want it big you can begin so we'll keep it around balancing it around seven fine i like this much size so i'll keep it that way next we'll add some film grain so we'll add a new layer right and we'll go to uh, brush strokes or maybe we'll go to um, artistic right and click on film grain and we're using film grain you can add some noise so if you increase the grains you can add some grains on your image and this will give you that nice vintage look so i uh, will we'll set the grains to around let's say seven or eight okay let's say eight or seven fine over here we'll increase the highlight area and reduce the intensity to let's say around two fine and here we go we got that nice effect and we have firstly we have added the reticulation effect then grain then half tone then film grain if you change the position of these layers like if you drag down the filter a half tone patterns below it will change your effects accordingly say that like you want to keep it on bottom you'll get something like this uh, keep the reticulation on bottom so you can get something like this and if you keep this on top you'll find something like this so each layer is blended to each other so if you change a position of any of the effects it will directly impact to your design so it will give you different looks different designs you can use multiple number of effects from here and create out some amazing designs if you're looking for a design something like this you can just follow along this steps and you'll get the same design i'll click ok now let's add a color tone and it's very simple go over here add a solid color uh, choose some greenish blue color okay click ok and change the blend mode to screen very simple if you want to make it a little bit darker just make it a little bit darker and you get that interesting looking design something like that so here we go we have created this first design very simple easy now let's look at our second design we're gonna create so this is the second design we're gonna create we're gonna create all this nice half tone photo effects uh using the filter gallery half tone pattern so here let's open an image here is our image now first thing we're gonna do convert this into smart object right okay and over here uh, we'll set the image size to around 1500 to 1600 okay now let's change the color so uh, what i'll do is i'll add a new uh, black and white layer okay and again we'll add a new levels on top and this will adjust the brightness and the darkness something like this fine next we'll add a new layer and fill this up with color so we'll go to edit fill and fill it up with 50 percent gray as we have done in our first episode something like this convert this into a smart object and now let's apply a filter gallery to this layer so we'll go to filter filter gallery and apply a half tone pattern so let's delete all these effects which we have applied in our previous design okay and this one will choose half tone pattern let's zoom out and let's increase the size to let's say six okay and contrast to around four and let's look at it so or click ok and change the blend mode to hard mix and here we go if you change uh, if you want to look other if you can uh, you can uh, check out other blend modes over here just to see but i think we want hard mix and reduce the fill percent to around 70 percent just to get that nice design if you want to change the size you can directly go into filter gallery over here you can either add lines dots or circles okay so let's keep it dots and increase the contrast a little bit okay let's see if we increase the contrast okay fine so we'll go into filter gallery and we'll set the half tone to five by contrast around three and click okay now next we'll create that page tone effect so to create that let's duplicate a new layer of this okay and i'll place this on top of everything something like that now uh, add a new layer and let's draw out a brush so choose a brush tool using the brush shortcut b or go over here and choose brush and after that we'll go over here and we'll choose some brush settings so we'll choose something over here these are all the default brushes so let's choose something like this and reduce the spacing just to make it smooth and let's go over here 
okay i like that let's increase the size a little bit and if you draw it out something like this it looks amazing you can change the brush here try it out different brushes but what we want over here is we want the thick brush something like this so let's increase the size reduce the spacing and adjust some rotation a little bit okay and just draw it out something like this okay it looks cool so let's just using the brown mouse and just draw something like this rough rough line okay so i think this looks great i'll use this for our design now so this one this layer will keep it below our image and will uh, clip this image to this so over here with the all press if you hover over here you can see this icon click on it and it will apply clipping mask right next uh, we will add some um, strokes to the edges so so we'll use brush tool to create that so we'll add a new layer on top and apply clipping mask so right click and create clipping mask and it will be clipped to this image main image this one so over here we'll use the brush tool same brush tool choose white color and just try to draw it over the edges something like this just make sure it's rough something like this from edges something like that and here also just draw some shapes something like that okay it looks great you can add some more details at the endings add some little bit more over here so here it is so we have drawn that nice brush strokes at the edges now next thing we're gonna do is to apply drop shadow so double click on it and go to drop shadow and over here let's uh, spread this drop shadow or maybe we'll apply outer glow so click over here outer glow choose black color okay and uh, change the blend mode to multiply and adjust the opacity and the size so increase the size adjust the opacity and okay and here we go you got that nice depth you if you want to increase the opacity a little bit increase it just to get that nice shadow on the background so here we go we have created that but if you notice something you can see that our edges are a little blurry what we want is sharper edges so to create that we'll use layer mask options so what i'll do is i'll just go over here select the main layer right this one and with the uh, command or control press click and click on the thumbnail this will make a selection right and apply mask to it so this is the mask and this one will fill this up with white color alt to backspace and this one uh you can see this is blur so to sharpen it double click on the mask layer and increase the contrast and as you can see this is blur and with the increase in contrast you can make the edges sharper so i want this click ok and your inner edge is now sharper in the same way we want uh this sharpness over here as well so to do that we'll select this top layer right this one white layer and we'll do the same um what we'll do is make a selection with the control press click on the thumbnail this will make a selection and apply mask okay and this one selecting this layer fill this up with the white color now alt backspace fill up the foreground color and here double click on it you want it to be sharper adjust the contrast but we'll keep it medium sharp and click ok and if you check it out over here you can see that we got that nice details little bit blur but it's sharper compared to our previous one and it looks amazing this is how you have created this design let me add some text and drag and drop it there okay and place it around here and if you look at our final design you can see the inner image is red in color so let's change the color to that so over here select the image layer right this one uh, first of all let's add a black and white color on top and after that uh, we'll add a levels okay just to increase the contrast and the brightness and after that we'll add a nice solid color with the red color and change it to multiply okay and we'll choose some faded red color and now let's adjust the levels increase the brightness and here we go we got that nice red color and if you want to adjust the color you can just go in here and choose a color that's suitable for your design something like that and here we go 
So here we go, we have created this nice halftone photo effect design using filter gallery halftone patterns and uh, we have created this uh, page tone effect using the clipping mask and layer mask option. So here we go, we have created these two amazing photo effect design, halftone photo effect design using two techniques. One, we have directly applied it to the image and it will give you that nice design and we have understood the concept of reticulation where you use your foreground and background color simultaneously to get different look. And for the second design, we have applied it to a solid layer, fill layer and use the blend mode to apply the halftone effects very simple and in the next episode we're gonna dive in more in depth inside halftone effects uh, we're gonna create some amazing design concepts using these halftone options i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel thank you